Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll talk about spring and summer knitting inspiration and my knitting plans. My coffee is dripping and I'll go and get it and we'll get started. Much better. So what is inspiring me knitwise at the moment? I have been inspired by knitting social media for a long time and it would be lying to say that the trends on social media don't affect me. Of course they do. There are some trends that I am more interested in than the others. For example, marling has been very popular at the moment, but I don't see myself doing marled pieces, or at least many of them. Um, I have one idea that I might do or might not do, but yeah, I'm not so into marling, or at least not into this high contrast marling. I think high fiber knits talked beautifully about this. There is a difference between marling kind of similar colors together and creating this beautiful variegation and marling two completely different colors together that create this very high, high contrast marled look. And that high contrast look is not for me it might be for someone else and I appreciate that, but for me, that's not it. So maybe if I marl things, I might marl more like similar tones together. But things that have inspired me on social media are the very classic basic designs that almost look like they are bought from the store but they are not and some classics with a twist and I think that there has been this trend for a long time I don't even know if it is a trend if it is a classic but yeah I am inspired by that and there has also been a lot of these open gauge items like very sheer fabrics and somehow I am inspired by these flowy sheer like very lightweight pieces they don't have to be like very see-through but maybe the lightness is inspiring me and I would like to knit something that is slightly sheer and very flowy during the spring and summer season. And the last thing that has inspired me that I have gathered from the social media is this pop of color trend. But I am doing it with a slight twist, with my own twist, because the very like bright colors are not for me, uh, in my opinion. Um, I like more muted colors, so I'm gonna do this trend my own way. So adding pops of color in my own color palette. If you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe you should check this video next. So in general, I am excited about this lightweight, very summery, very breezy, patterns that are lightweight, flowy, mostly in neutral colors, but with some pops of fresh colors that are in my color palette. And yeah, think of like morning mist colors or um, dawn colors that are slightly subdued and muted and but still fresh, if you get the thing, I mean. 
So let's get into the patterns that I have sort of gathered through the social media and through Ravelry that have been inspiring to me. And in the end, I will show what patterns I picked and I will try to make during the spring. And we will see what will trickle down the, the summer as well. And yeah, we can address my hair. I don't often straighten my hair, but when I do, I need to film a video with it. Let's go to the patterns. I think spring is a perfect time to knit t-shirts and summer tops. Uh, because then you can wear them when the summer is actually arriving. Uh, I think this is not a controversial or anyway surprising statement, but that is how I think. And the first one I would like to present to you is a classic, everyone has probably heard about it, and it is the Cumulus Tea by Petit Knit. And I think it is very classic, very timeless, elegant piece. And I think it might be the perfect t-shirt pattern for me. I really enjoy raglans and they fit me usually quite well. I also, I thought I don't like t-shirts, but that's not true. I don't like t-shirts that are too short sleeved or that come too near my armpit, where is a <laughs> sweat stain already. This is a sweaty thing to be in front of camera. So I don't like when the fabric is too near my armpit, especially in t-shirts. Uh, so I like that there is a bit of room. And I also like v-necks and very minimal detailing. There is only the eye cord edging in the sleeves and neckline and at the hem. It is knit with fingering weight yarn and if I remember correctly it is 3 millimeter needle so it takes a while but it will create a lovely breezy summer garment. And the next one on my list is the Twist Loop Top by Other Loops. I bought this already during winter but I didn't have the chance to knit it. I think it is very beautiful and timeless design, but with a twist. This pattern unfortunately is not size inclusive, so I'm a bit hesitant to showcase it here. But I already bought the pattern, so I'm gonna knit it. But I will contact the designer via email and be nice. Uh, and ask about the size range and maybe when multiple people ask about the size range it will become reality. This is also a fingering weight pattern so it takes a while to knit but I don't mind it. I think it is good for summer garments or spring garments that are layering pieces to be on the thinner side so they are comfortable also uh, under some cardigans or you can wear them all year round if they are made from suitable materials. Next one is a P camisole and just look at it, it is gorgeous. Very classic and minimal design done with a Again, fingering weight yarn, but also very dense gauge, so it lasts some time and is also not see-through. I think sometimes this might be a problem uh, with bras, because the design is like very slim here, but during summer you can maybe go braless and wear some nippies or 
where the bra just has no straps. Um, but I also understand that for people who have like larger bust size, it might be um, very hard. And in my personal opinion, we're not allergic to bra straps. Everyone knows that we wear bras, so why it would be a problem if it shows. Next one is a newbie from Isayel Bries collection and it is the Pebble Top by Lene Hon Samsa. And I just love the idea of a very classic camisole shape with the fine crochet like edges. I'm not sure how they are made. Are they crochet or some kind of knitted edge? But it is beautiful and it reminds me of those store-bought camisoles that had the lace edges. It is minimal but somehow still quite feminine and I think it is very cute. So if you are looking for something that is basic camisole but with something extra, this might be the answer to that. I think this would be gorgeous in some quite neutral color like this linen gray beige or but also some very pretty summery shades would go nicely. And the one camisole that I am so excited to cast on is this 9 p.m. Was it p.m.? I always confuse the two. Maybe it's p.m. 9 p.m. Tank by Tiffany, aka Tiffany Thai. And it is so classic looking basic top. I recently did a wardrobe inventory and I am looking at a pile of clothes that I am going to sell and a pile of clothes that I'm going to alter. And there is not so many basic tops in my wardrobe. And that is a problem because I need them to combine all the thrift finds and all the pattern pieces together. So I need them under the cardigans and under the blazers, but I don't have them. I, I really have like so few of the basic tops, so I'm gonna need one. And prefer, prefer English is hard today. Preferably, that would be some neutral or basic color. But yeah, it has these beautiful double knitted edges, very finished sleek lines and mwah. I think it is a perfect basic top. I have also been very inspired about knitted dresses lately and I have been on a mission to like buy second hand slip dress but I have not come across to the one that would fill my requirements, which are a v-neck, thin straps, very straight uh, shape, maybe a slight slit in the hem and neutral color. I think I would prefer it to be black or navy. And then it hit me maybe I could knit one. And there has been so many beautiful knitted camisole dresses uh, that I have seen on social media. And most of them don't have any pattern. Uh, people have just taken some knitted camisole pattern and continued knitting. Maybe they had some slight uh, shaping on the waist, but 
I, but after that, it is just knitting, just continue knitting. And I think that is a great idea, especially if it's done with some summary. Someone is drilling. Especially if it's done with some summery fibers. I have this cotton yarn that is black, Porco di Pazzi, DK Wave. And I think if I knit it in a quite loose gauge to make it nice and drapey, I could have enough for a dress. So that is a thing I am fantasizing when I go to sleep, <laughs> but I don't have a pattern or anything in mind for it yet. It might be that I just freestyle. I also saw a beautiful bikini top like bralette from Naked Knit. I just can't seem to find the name from my head, but I will insert it here. And I think that would be a very nice and fun and quick in-between project. I think it would be very useful as well during summer. I tend to use a lot of bralettes instead of like underwear bras because I am a member of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee, which means I basically have very little boobs and I don't need that much support so I can I can get away with like a very light bralette and it would be fun and Naked Knit has uh, also other very beautiful bralette patterns and they also came out with this very beautiful sheer cashmere sweater that I am teeny tiny bit obsessed with, but I don't have the yarn and maybe I don't have the patience to knit that with the very thin yarn, but just telling you that it's gorgeous. Remember to have your coffee if you are having it. Have you subscribed yet if you haven't? please click the button right now. Thanks. I don't think that summer is only for knitting summer tops or spring is only for knitting summer tops, but I might put the heavier knits on the back burner and knit something lighter garments. I am at the moment knitting this Minu cardigan, which is a recommendation as well for a spring summer knit. It should come out maybe in June. It is beautiful. I am part of the test knitting group. And in general, I think these lighter weight cardigans might work as a heavier knit between the camisoles and so on. I am also still very intrigued about the Robinson Wrap cardigan, which is a beautiful fitted wrap cardigan with double knitted edges and ribbed hem. It is quite cropped, quite fitted, beautifully made uh, pattern and it is just... I love the fit, I love the look and it would work so beautifully during these uh, cooler summer or spring evenings or cool spring days with a dress or a skirt or ripped jeans or jean shorts still bringing warmth but not being overly thick and on the same note i think that these very loose breezy open gauge mohair sweaters can work for spring and maybe on summer evenings and i have this one specific one on mind on my mind in my mind something and it is this one 
It's called Jules Genser by Sannesgarn. Each. It is from the Mjuk Til Dame booklet. And it is this very breezy, um, a bit whimsical, loose, cutesy sweater that has this yoke with some textured stitches and cabling and stockinette stitch on the sleeves and in the hem. I saw this one from Knitting Traditions Inga and from that moment on I knew, knew I. I also wanted this one. I don't want it to be too cutesy so I'm still considering about the color. So for example pink would be a bit too cute but maybe dusty blue or dusty purple would work better i don't know but all these like light and breezy lovely fabrics work for summer and spring i think it can also be layered if you get too cold in the spring so that is a plus in my books so if you think like having this lovely mohair sweater, maybe some nice skirt, and then you get cold and you pull on a leather jacket and maybe some nice thick scarf and then you are warm again. I think they will work very well, especially for a spring summer in Finland. Because Finland is known for a joke that there is like one or two days of summer and yeah that is pretty much true so if we could round up this inspiration and spring and summer knitting plans video the next thing or things that I will probably cast on are the cumulus blouse, no, cumulus T, P, camisole and 9 p.m. tank. So there is like these basic tops and tees that I will try to make during this spring and summer season. I have two tops on my needles at the moment but none of those are basics, so they are like elevated basics. But these are the ones that I will try to make. I have not decided if I will make the cumulus tea in a pop of color. I have this nice rosy plum color that could work beautifully in there, so I could get the color inspiration that I'm craving. But also um, the other tops, the P camisole and the 9 p.m. tank I would like to do in very neutral colors so it could go with all of my summer uh, skirts and shorts and also my basic jeans. So those are my spring and summer knitting plans and spring knitting inspiration. Please let me know what you thought about this video and share your knitting plans for this season. I am so happy that you are here. Please like this video and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye! Why am I so sweaty? Um, so I don't like when the armpit is too close to my... Preferably...
that's close enough. Preferably, 